So I was in Japan till 56, but you know, um, I was getting better at it than most of the time. I, was, I didn't sound very arrogant, but it became that I was the uh, biggest frog in a little pond. And I wanted to play with the musician that I listened to record and trying to learn their language. And, you know, jazz is a social art. If you are playing with a better player, you become a better player. And I really wanted to uh, be able to play with them to have opportunity. And meanwhile, in 53, there's, I had opportunity to recording uh, for Norman Grants in Japan. So, so basically her, her music is so very special because of the narrative approach and, you know, all the cliches of using uh, you know, Japanese influences or extra jazz influences. But she, when, when she uses it, and she maintains the jazz as essential character, talking about the tradition. So you can add stuff, but, but ultimately the root is still there. So that's, that's very important and it's very, very difficult to do. I would like to, in the future, I wish I can play a little bit better than now. <laughs> That's, uh, uh, at least I can try. And I have been trying, but it's uh, hard. <laughs> when I'm playing it, I say, what am I doing this? Oh my God, I did again. Da da da. And I'm thinking all well, this and then I'm playing it. And this is come like automatically because I'm playing it, so it's almost 60 years. So doing this, but that little less. I think I'm a little lesser than, let's say, 40 years ago. But it's still, you know, I say, did I, why did I do that? My God, why did I do that? Stupid. Like this. So, make it less of that. That's my goal. But it's, it's not easy, you know. <laughs> because, I, it's just because I don't practice the way I used to practice. Mm -hmm.